Welcome to Breaking News. We've got another great bit of news coming up for you. But first, make sure you're subscribed to Breaking News and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we post a new video. Also, after watching, join in the conversation below in the comment section. Now, here's your news. Serious concerns. Jim Jordan puts D.A. Willis on notice with power move. The U.S. House Judiciary Committee is probing Fulton County, Georgia, District Attorney Fani Willis regarding her motivations for prosecuting former President Donald Trump. The investigation was announced Thursday by Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, who wrote to Willis claiming her indictment and prosecution implicate substantial federal interests. And the circumstances surrounding actions raise serious concerns about whether they are politically motivated. Jordan referenced Willis's prior fundraising efforts while arguing her case against the former president in the letter, Fox News reported. It is noteworthy that just four days before this indictment, you launched a new campaign fundraising website that highlighted your investigation into President Trump, Jordan wrote. Additionally, the forewoman of the special grand jury you convened to investigate President Trump earlier this year bragged during an unusual media tour about her excitement at the prospect of subpoenaing. President Trump and getting to swear him in. Trump was charged with 13 counts in connection with the state investigation into his alleged attempts to rig the 2020 presidential election in the state. And he will surrender himself on Thursday at the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta. Trump's bail was set by the court at $200,000, and it is anticipated that he will be processed and released quickly. His formal arraignment, where he is anticipated to enter a not guilty plea, will occur at some point early next month, according to Fox News Digital. Trump is anticipated to be required to take a mugshot. Other defendants in Willis's investigation, including former Trump attorneys Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis, and others, had their pictures taken as they were being processed. House Republicans are using news reports that claim Willis used many of the same witnesses and resources as Department of Justice Special Counsel Jack Smith to defend their decision to oversee. Georgia State Indictments News outlets have reported that your office and Mr. Smith interviewed many of the same witnesses and reviewed much of the same evidence in reaching your decision to indict President Trump. The committee letter reads, the House Committee on the Judiciary thus may investigate whether federal law enforcement agencies or officials were involved in your investigation or indictment. The committee is requesting that the District Attorney's Office provide it with all records of its interactions with federal funds, correspondence with the DOJ or any of its divisions, and any records of collaboration with members of the executive branch. The District Attorney's Office must deliver all requested documents by September 7th at 10 a.m. The Trump campaign criticized Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and other prosecutors over his indictment related to allegations that he attempted to invalidate the state's 2020 election. Results Trump and his allies have accused Willis and others of engaging in election interference aimed at hurting his 2024 presidential campaign. These activities by Democrat leaders constitute a grave threat to American democracy and are direct attempts to deprive the American people of their rightful choice to cast their vote for president. The campaign statement said, Call it election interference or election manipulation, it is a dangerous effort by the ruling class to suppress the choice of the people. It is un-American and wrong. An attorney and legal spokeswoman for Donald Trump has provided a big update after the 45th president was indicted in Georgia. During an interview on Newsmax, Elena Haba said that Trump will be surrendering himself on Thursday in Fulton County, Georgia. Haba went on to slam the fake news media for permeating the U.S. justice system. Russia hoax, impeachment hoax, I mean keep going, keep going, keep going, Haba said. She continued, what I think is the most frightening is not just the fake news media, but that the fake news media, I think, is starting to permeate our court systems and our justice systems. And that's what scares me, she said. 